Kimbosos Jr. activates world title rematch clause with Haney. This uh, news just came out about not even um, two hours ago. I'm actually up late. It's uh, 1.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, June the 17th, Friday, um, 2022. It's also on a uh, boxing scene as well. So according to George Kambosos, the once beaten boxer has activated his rematch clause, blah, blah, blah. Um, when he fought um, Haney in Australia in the uh, Marvel Stadium, according to my colleague, Big J, who was there, there was about 41, 42,000 or so there. Um, according to a report from News Corp, it generated about 50,000 pay-per-view buys on Australian boxing which falls short of a peak pay-per-view figure of 100,000. Wow, so 50,000 pay-per-view buys. Okay, let me do that math here. Hold on, this is a little late. I know I should know off the top of my head. So that's $3 million right there. Now, of course, there's some stateside money too because they were um, here on um, ESPN and they peaked at about 1.5, I believe. Something like that, million? ESP in here in the States is our biggest platform, but to have this fight outsold by Tim Zhu, you know, and Tim Zhu is already, you know, like he is a big established name over there in Australia now trying to make his way here to the States to be, well, he's here, meaning trying to be established here over here in the States, but I don't know. Here's the quote. Yes, the rematch is 100%. I have activated the rematch clause. Kimbosos told News Corp. The emperor is dead. The emperor is dead, but Ferocious is still alive and I will be back. We haven't finalized the venue. There's options for Melbourne, Mel, Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. It will be in Australia, which is great. I know I can win the rematch. I will make some changes. And this is my destiny to show how great I am and to get those belt backs. I know I can beat Haney. My confidence hasn't been broken. On the day, Ferocious wasn't at his best. I was just off a touch, but no excuses. He did what he had to do with his jab. He is a smart operator. But I have to be smarter at my game plan next time. I am blessed to get a shot again. And not many Australian boxers can say they've had three world title fights in a row. I shocked Lopez to win the belts. I lost them to Haney, but now I'll be working on a game plan to get the belts back. I have the eye of the tiger again. I'm still the biggest name in Australian boxing. Tim can barely get crowds to his fights in, in Australia. What? What is he saying? Kambosos also shot back at critics who believe that his local popularity falls short of Tim Zoo. Well, that's that's true. He can't argue that. You know, like he's like, put it this way, over, over here in the States. Now, remember, I cover, me and my colleague, we cover, hold on, I gotta get some water. Me and my colleague, we cover Australian boxing, you know, and I cover like all, like all of these fighters' fights. So, you know, Tim Zoo is a bigger name um, on Australian platforms. Now, is he a bigger name in the States? Uh, not bigger than Cambosos, but he's probably going to be there very soon, if not there. I don't know. That's hard to say here in the States because both of them ain't really known. But but Cambosos has had that. Um, He's definitely known more in American boxing circles. That's for sure. But anyway, I don't want to get too um far down the trough on that. But he took a shot at um Tim Zhu. I'm the biggest name in Australian boxing. Tim could barely get crowds to his fights in Australia. The last time I checked. When did Tim Zhu fight in front of 41,000 fans in a packed stadium? I mean, that's true, but it's only one fight, though. But Tim, for like several fights, has been pulling 10,000 plus, you know, Zooville, you know, um, he barely get 10,000 to fight. It's small time stuff, Kimbo. So these are some shot Kimbo Sosa said. I'm happy for the critics to let me see, bag me and doubt me. I'm very happy with my life. No one can take away the fact that I made it to the top. I conquered. Okay, all right, George. You know, I'm not feeling the rematch. Here's what Devin Haney said earlier in the week, by the way. Because I would rather see him versus Loma. But once again, we don't know when Loma's coming back. Loma's off at war somewhere. Who would you fight next, if you could choose? Um, whatever fight makes the most sense, obviously. What makes the um, most sense to you? <laughs> What gets you most excited? Oh, no. Um, obviously, uh, the Lomachenko fight. Um, that's that's a huge fight. Um, but all of them, all of them gets get, gets me excited. Uh, the Javante Davis, um, Lomachenko. Uh, those two pretty much 
are, are, are top on the list because they're just that, that that makes the most sense. All the other guys I really don't don't really uh, rate like that. Who would you fight next if you could choose? Well, here's my rankings here from uh, Fight V360, my website. The link is down below in the uh, description box. Thanks to my colleague, Mikey. Our um, rankings are updated monthly in accordance with all of the sanctioned and bodies. As you can see, Devin Haney, the WBC franchise champion, WBC champion. Well, actually, no, he's just the WBC f champion. The WBC franchise, which Cambosos had from beating Tiafimo, who had beat Loma, Haney is the WBC champion. WBA Super, IBF, WBO, and Ring Magazine. Tank Davis has that underling belt. This is no disrespect to Tank Davis, but it is an underling belt. That WBA world and Lomachenko is off at war. He's rated number one by the WBC, but not mandatory, and rated number one by the WBO, but not mandatory. And I'm sure if he was active, they would be chomping at the bit to me. To make him mandatory. But yeah, the Cambosos fight for me. Listen, I understand that, you know, Cambosos was the champion, the man who beat the man. You know, but the fight was not competitive, and you know, he got beat off of a jab. Now he has to be ferocious, as me and my colleague talked about in in the fight. He has to be ferocious, you know, in the rematch, because it's already going to happen. He activated his rematch clause. And if he didn't, he would have been jumping to the back of the line or put in the back of the line because, you know, there's mandatories, you know, and it's and it's four belts, five. You know, so he would have been, you know, it, it, it's not smart business, you know, for him to just be like, nah, I'm not going to fight him again, because then he would be having to start back over. You know, now what's going for him is the fight's going to be in Australia. I don't think they'll be able to do another 40,000 venue. Something, what about, you know, 10 to 15,000 or so? I wouldn't be surprised if the fight is not going to be on ESPN prime time, but regular Australian time. You know, meaning here in the States, we may watch it on a Saturday morning, like 830 or so in the morning main event. You know, because for one, like it just didn't really like it's not like overall, it wasn't a big global fight. Devin Haney, you know, unfortunately, I like Devin Haney, you know, great boxer. You know, I'm all for the sweet science, but his style is not necessarily fan pleasing, you know, to bring in the ratings. He's only 23 years old, you know, and that's what a lot are hoping for is that, you know, once, you know, he, you know, gets a little bit bigger and stronger, you know, and grows into his power, you know, he'll be able to start getting guys out of there because it just looks like to me if he would have followed up with just that right hand after the jab you know he he you know but it is what it is you know he's the fighter i'm not you know like i i just want to see the brother succeed you dig what i'm saying you know i've been supporting him for years and to see that he made it to like this level and at one point in time i'm not going to say it yet but i did do some videos where i would like really you know give him a high chance against lomachenko like, I think he's legit, you know, and, and Tank Davis. Tank Davis is number one to me still. I'm sorry. Even though um, 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 Haney has the belt. I don't know, you know. But we also seen that Tank Davis has to rely, you know, sometimes on knockouts. You know, he can be outboxed. You know, we've seen it. You know, he can, you know, lose rounds. To where Devin Haney, he don't lose rounds if he don't want to. You see what I'm saying? And if he can beat you off the jab, it may not look pretty, but at the same time, he getting that shit done. So overall, I don't want to see the rematch. But at the end of the day, I know politically it's the way they had to go. You know, Haney, you know, um, he could have went after um, Lomachenko. You know, the Tank Davis fight, I don't know if top rank and Showtime would be able to come together for that. We don't really we don't really know what Tank Davis' situation is, if he's going to be leaving Mayweather Promotions or if he's going to be leaving Mayweather Promotions and PBC or, you know, stay with PBC, leave Mayweather. We, we don't know. Ryan Garcia, I don't count him. He might lose to uh, Javier Fortuna. Was that July the 16th? And he might retire. Isai Cruz, eh, don't be surprised if we see Tank Davis versus Isai Cruz again, but I don't really rely on that wild card. We may see Tank Davis versus um, um, Keith Thurman. You know, and that's the division right there. And as it stands, you know, Devin Haney wants to stay at 135 pounds, you know, um, a little longer, maybe two more fights before he moves up to 140. But once he goes to 140, you know, it's a log jam right there because 147 is pretty much dominated by PBC, 147 and 154. So, and these guys know this about the politics, but it is what it is. You know, as far as the rematch is concerned, I'm not really feeling it, you know, but 
I'm going to pick Devin Haney again. My colleague, Big J, he's going to pick um, Cambosos. But, you know, only time will tell. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. And teach your controversy with Fight View 360. Please subscribe. Oh, also, follow me on Twitter. There's a link tree link down below in the description box. And it has my um, social media information. And I'm launching a podcast at the end of this month. You know, I'm working around the clock, which is why I'm up late getting back on the grind again. You see what I'm saying? We even have a Reddit group and a Facebook group. The link tree um, has all of my social media information and the WBC app powered by the Vive Network. Link down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.